Alright, so third time is hopefully the charm. Uh, you must forgive my fashion faux pas. I am, yes, indeed, wearing the same thing I was on my last video. Um, anyways, I try to do this in one take. If something messes up, like my camera battery runs out <clears throat> again, uh, I, I, I don't try to edit it together. I uh, just start over from the beginning. So, anyways, uh, this video is going to be about this DSO 15001K. Or DSO 150 is what it was labeled as in the ad. I bought mine for like 12 bucks on an auction. Basically, it comes with instructions for surface mount. I had to do none. The only surface mount soldering I did was having to remove this step number seven, remove the jumper resistor. Um, the rest of it really, really straightforward. I believe my five year old son could have put this project together so long as I helped him test the voltages and put it in the screen without getting fingerprints on it. Other than that, super simple. Uh, this is going to be um, an evaluation. It's not a comparison between those. It's just an evaluation to see if it's worth a damn. Um, obviously, it's probably going to be worth $12. It, $12 is nothing. Um, but yeah, it, let's see if it's going to be a decent scope for a beginner. Uh, it's already gained my favor because it is isolated from the mains, mains ground anyways. Uh, you could run this by battery, really it's got a connector, while it's not accessible from the outside case, it does have one of the standard, what is that, JST connectors, so yeah, if you wanted to mangle and manhandle the case and cut in a little extra hole, I think it's right in there, it's right by the DC jack. It could easily be done. Um, they say this thing's good to 200 kilohertz, I believe, something along those lines. Let's check out the stats. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. I can't read it on this tiny screen. Um, yeah, 0 to 200, 5 millivolts, 50 volt peak to peak with a 1x probe. Oh, interesting. I didn't know they had other options. They don't. 12 bit resolution, sure. 1,024 points, so that, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that. I think that just pretty much means that the whole thing's in an averaging mode, like, probably not boxcar averaging, just regular average mode like you would have on your uh, digital scopes now. Uh, three different trigger modes, center buffer, power supply, 8 to 10 volts, uh, 120 milliamps. Yeah, mine's running at 105 milliamps right now, 9 volts. 100 grams, okay, who cares? Anyways, this thing's actually pretty neat. I like it. Um, you can, it, it's pretty accurate. It takes a minute for it to settle down if you change the time, let the screen adjust. The frequency goes a bit wonky for a minute. And then it comes back down to earth and goes, okay, yeah, no, it's really still just four hurts if the thing's moving along. But other than that, I mean, you, you can see from comparing it there, it's not that far off of representation. Let's see if I can get it to stop. There we go. Nope. Let me change my trigger here. There we go. Wrong button. Again, trying to do this without looking directly at it, which is stupid. Anyways, yeah, you can move it up, down, you just hit volts, hit it again. Uh, ooh, la la. You can move the waveform left and right. I don't know how much it can actually save. There is an option on their extensive half a page of uh, instructions where you can actually save a waveform and recall it. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty neat. You can go back to the default settings by holding it three times, it'll put it right back at the default position by holding volts down for three seconds. It'll go back to center if you've gotten it way, way, way off track, whatever. But, anyways, uh, let's see what the other stuff looks like. That's a simple uh, sawtooth. Uh, 
there's a good old triangle sign any day now any, oh, I'm out of, what did I do did I break it I broke it let's turn it off I don't know what I hit I think I got it into a menu I shouldn't have been in for it to be updating automatically. Let's see. Oh, yep. There's the sine wave, just as it should be. I think roll mode starts anything 50 milliseconds and up. And again, the frequency is pretty much dead on. Let's move it up from something a little bit beyond DC. 30 hertz, fine. Change the time frame again. Has a ridiculous amount of time. 500 seconds. What are you going to do with 500 seconds of footage? Yeah, it takes a minute to update, but it's a. Alright, I got this on an auction for 12 bucks, but I think the scope is selling for 20 22 maybe so yeah for a $20 scope you can't beat that unless you're looking for an old school analog one to get really really lucky then yeah you're not going to find something like that and it is dead on let's see what is the frequency yeah my record says 83 that says 75 this also says 75 hmm hmm sorry sorry only have two hands here let's there we go uh, now the regals back to good anyways let's Take it up a click. Forty hertz, forty hertz, moving on up ninety, hundred and twenty nine. Correct. And one hundred and twenty nine. All right, so let's uh. I guess let's see if it's going to look like that on all the waveforms. Good. Good. And good. Yeah, uh, it dropped down to 116 according to the frequency counter. So let's. Uh, push it a little bit further three hundred fifty three correct five hundred and forty seven one hundred forty nine that's not that far off six forty two is what the counter is saying this is saying forty seven let's get it in a different time base Six thirty-four now. See, it's a little wonky. You give it one click, and it goes a difference of twenty hertz. But that's not a deal breaker for me, anyways. Twenty dollars scope. It's gonna give you an idea of what the waveforms look like. That's really all this thing's for. I mean, in, in my opinion, but. Exactly that, in my opinion. 2.3 kilohertz, perfect. That's having tr trouble triggering on that, so I can't really scoot it on over. Alright, let's take it to 10k.
13.881 on the counter. Put on that. 16, 19. So far, so good. Getting a bit wonky there. Change it back to square wave. Let's change the setting again one last time to the 100k mark. So it's back down to 5k. Alright, that's looking good. Yeah, it's really not that accurate. It's got its problems but twenty dollars really twenty bucks uh, attenuation really that's beginning to happen uh, it's not true attenuation I guess because it's not making the signal smaller but it is making the signal um, ugly the technical term for it Alright, that's as small as I can go. 10 microseconds. So let's uh, crank it on up and see what what she'll give at. 48. That's accurate. 53. Accurate. 63. Eh, that's getting a little off. 63.42 is what the counter's saying. This is saying 64. Eighty-one on the counter. Well, I'm pretty sure it's. As you can see, I still haven't switched. It's just getting ugly. Ah, uh, I don't think they can really claim two hundred, but we'll we'll keep going and see what she can suffer. Yeah, one hundred seventy-eight k. 203.6k so the count really isn't too far off but as far as the signal yeah that's, that's pretty hideous and yeah that's hmm that's too bad anyways let's see how high it will go 304 next Not gonna do her, but anyways, on the hundred hertz, one k hertz, it does just fine. So, for all intents and purposes, if you're just gonna get this thing to use with general stuff like learning electronics, if you're making, I don't know, your first 
multi-vibrator circuit or something like that and you want to look at the waveform if it's going slow enough I think it'll be fine um, if you want to see random mains hum yeah you'll be fine uh, anything over 100k though yeah you're gonna have a pretty hard time Definitely has its idiosyncrasy, so that's for sure. It's not going at 180 hertz right now. Not even close. I'm sorry, I'm just sweeping through the range here trying to find something where it actually makes a real signal appear on the one second mode. Kind of. Eh. The dreaded auto button. Not even close. But anyway, yeah, this thing's really just good for that. Pretty much it. And as far as anything else goes, eh, not the best. Because, yeah, this thing is not even that great. It gives the 3 megahertz. So, it, by no means is this thing a fast frequency counter. Uh, it's It matches this well. This thing's slow, but this thing's expensive if you're just starting off and you're not really sure if you're wanting to pursue it in great expense, I guess. This thing is definitely going to do the trick for starting off. I like it. I'm going to use it quite a lot. Anyways, that is all.